When running to become the President of the United States, a candidate needs to meet three formal qualifications. Aside from the three actual requirements, there are also informal qualifications thought to exist in most of all the presidents thus far. The three formal qualifications are as follows. The President of the United States must be at least 35 years old. This age allows the person to have acquired the proper experience as well as wisdom and knowledge to become the President. The next formal qualification is that the person running for office must have lived in the United States for the last 14 years. Finally, the President must be a U.S. citizen. Aside from formal qualifications, there are informal qualifications, or rather qualifications seen in most presidents that are unwritten qualities. First of all, most presidents come from a wealthy background. They have plenty of money. Next, the person running usually has political contacts or connections. Obviously, without connections, it would be hard to persuade a whole country on your own. Also, another quality often seen in presidents is good looks. President Kennedy and Clinton are prime examples. Presidents must also have the ability to raise a lot of money. Presidential campaigns are not cheap. Finally, most presidents have an Ivy League education and a military background. Here is a list of all the presidents not involved in the military. Obama, Coolidge, Harding, Wilson, Taft, Van Buren, and President Adams. Also President Clinton. Those are the qualifications, informal and formal, needed to become the President of the United States of America.